Really take the time to shift, to move, to find a comfortable spot for yourself. And then rest your hands down on your legs. Take the time here to feel the connection that you have with the ground. Noticing what it is that's touching the ground. And even move a little bit through your hips to allow a little more grounding through sitting bones. And then lift your shoulders up and back, lengthen through the back of your neck and let your eyes close. And as you take a couple deep breaths, thoroughly moving your breath through your body. Give yourself a moment to check in with how your body's feeling. From root to crown and back, from crown to root. And with your hands coming to connect the heart center, Give a gentle press with your hands and lift your chest up just a little bit higher. Take an inhale, fully expand. Exhale, bow toward your heart, honoring yourself for taking this time this morning. And as you softly open your eyes, release your hands down. Keep your chin tucked down and move your shoulders up and back. Feeling that expansion through the front part of your chest, shoulder blades engaging on your back, and then add just a couple shakes of your head no here, starting to work through any stiffness that might be there through your neck. Inhale, lift up tall through the back of your neck, through the crown of your head, even think of lifting through your upper palate, and then shake your head no. and exaggerate the shaking of your head now so your chin is moving even further toward one shoulder and then the other shoulder. And then as your head comes over to the right side, tuck your chin down, take a hold of the back of your head with your right hand and then take gratitude with your left arm. And from here, little pulses with your left arm. So your shoulder blade is engaging and releasing a few times. Inhale back up to center and exhale chin over to the left side. Tuck your chin down, take a hold of the back of your head with your left hand and take gratitude with your right arm and then little pulses. And now inhale back up to center, switch the cross of your legs, shift your sitting bones. And now hands in front of you to clasp, pull forward with your arms, round back through your upper back, through your shoulders. Think of a big expansion into that space in between your shoulder blades. Tuck your chin down and add a little bit of movement here, side to side through shoulders. Then inhale, lift up tall, hands stay clasped, turn your palms forward and draw shoulder blades onto your back and lift your arms up overhead. Take a couple big breaths here as you root down through sitting bones, start to twist a little bit gently side to side from your low ribs. As your low ribs on up do the twisting, this keeps your low back and your sacrum area safe. Couple more on each side. And then as you come back into center, press upward with your palms, lift your front body up a little higher. Then release your hands down, press down with your fingertips beside your hips, lengthen through your entire spine. And now 
reach your right hand behind your head and press your head back into your hand. Your left fingertips get to work a little ways behind you, then move your left shoulder blade onto your back. Press your head back into your hand and make sure both shoulder blades are stable on your back. Take a big deep breath and think of lifting through your heart space toward the ceiling. Then inhale, rise back up. And now both fingertips beside you again, press and lift your sides, lift your ribs, lift up to the back of your neck. Then your left hand comes behind your head, press your head back into your hand, and then work your fingertips back behind you on the right side. As you keep your right shoulder blade working onto your back, lift up and open through your chest, keep your left shoulder blade on your back as well. Take a big breath. Feel the expansion through your heart space, your ribs. Inhale, back up to center. And now walk your hands forward and settle into as deep a fold as your body is ready for, allowing yourself that counter pose here. And you're welcome to bring your forearms up onto something if that feels better in your body. Take a deep couple of breaths. And then inhale, rise up to your hands, shift forward, coming onto hands and knees. And from your hands and knees, set yourself up, wrists under your shoulders, knees under hips. Rotate elbow pits forward, tuck your toes under, and lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog pose. And then slowly pedal out with your knees. Try to keep your shoulders really stable right here. So instead of allowing the movement to happen through your shoulders, let it happen through your hips. As you stay steady through your shoulders, also start to press more from your lats out through your hands. And now walk the way forward, coming into your forward fold at the front of your mat, as many steps as you need. Feet your inner hip distance apart, if not wider. And if you're tight this morning, then maybe take them closer to the distance of your mat. Inhale, lengthen part way. Send your heart forward, sitting bones up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Big deep breath. Inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold. One more time. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Hands to hips. Press your hips back. Start to lift up and open through your shoulders. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. And then walk your feet into inner hip distance apart in parallel. Lift and spread your toes and root them down. Now hands come behind your back to clasp. Lift up and open through your shoulders. Take a big inhale here. Expand and lift your heart. Exhale, engage your low belly and your low ribs. Inhale, lift your chest. Maybe lift your hands a little ways from your back. Keeping a bend to your elbows and your palms pressing toward each other. Then release your hands. Inhale, stretch up overhead. Exhale, bent knees to fold over your legs. Inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold. Plant fingertips, use blocks if you would like. Step your right foot back into your lunge. Center off your hips and extend your heart. Take a deep breath. And now walk your hands to the inside and pivot on your feet, taking a wide stance, fold facing the right side. Take a look at your feet and notice pinky toe edges parallel to each other. Lift and spread your toes, tilt your sitting bones up. Exhale, fold as deeply as your body is ready for. And then little gentle movement here through your knees, bending one knee at a time, or you can bend both knees together and then work towards straight. Inhale, extend your heart. Exhale, work hands toward the front of your mat. Inhale, step forward into your fold. And exhale, step your left foot back into your lunge. Pause, find some centering with your hips and extend your heart, take a deep breath.
Then walk your hands to the inside, put it on your feet again. This time we're facing the left side. Notice your feet and bring them to parallel. Inhale, extend your heart and exhale, hold as deeply as your body needs this morning. Take a full big breath. Inhale, extend your heart, and exhale, pivot toward the front of your mat. Let your hands step all the way back downward facing dog pose. Take a full breath. Inhale, come forward into your plank pose. Knees if you'd like, rotate elbow hips forward and push, expanding your upper back, and then extend your heart. Exhale, lower all the way down. Hands right by your rib cage. Lift your shoulders up and back here before you even lift up with your chest. And then root down with your legs. Press with your knees and gently find that engagement of your low belly. Inhale, lift your chest now. And as you come up to as high a cobra as your body needs, just take a moment for a full deep breath and let your breath be what helps you lift maybe a little higher. On your exhale, downward facing dog pose. And then working your way forward, coming into your forward fold at the front of your mat. Take an inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold over your legs. Hands to hips. Press your hips back, heart forward and inhale, rise. And now as you come up to stand, we're going to take a side, um, a sideways stance on our mats with a wide stance. We'll move through a couple of things, um, a little bit more hip opening, but then also we'll work through a wide stance fold. So I'm going to turn, make sure that I'm facing you so that you can see. That wide stance fold is sometimes confusing. First off, make sure that you have your feet um, about as wide as your wrists. And then turning your toes in a little bit so the pinky toe edges of your feet are parallel. Take your hands to your hips and then a little bend to your knees. Inhale, lift your chest up. Draw your elbows back so you can feel your shoulder blades engaging. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold. Release your hands down to your blocks or to the floor, your choice. Take a couple big breaths in this fold. Lifting sitting bones up, little pulsations in your body Maybe little bends to one knee at a time or both knees to find the most opening that your body is ready for today. Big deep breath. And now bring your hands to whatever you're using for blocks or if you have longer arms than me, then you might be fine without blocks here. But we're going to set our right hand right directly underneath our shoulder. Left thumb into your hip crease and give your hip a push back. Keep a little bend to your knees as you extend your heart and then begin to twist to the left side. Shoulder blades are on your back. Take a full big breath. And if you find that your shoulders are starting to come towards stacking, maybe stretch your top arm to the sky. If not, maybe hold your hand right at your low back or your sacrum and notice keeping your hips even. Move both inner thighs back. Exhale, both hands come down in front of you and you're gonna to shift to your left hand directly underneath your chest, right thumb into your hip crease and give your hip crease a push back as you extend your heart forward. Then turn your belly and your heart to the right side. Shoulder blades are on your back, maybe switch your hand to your low back or maybe reach your arm up, your choice. Take a big deep breath. Both inner thighs are moving back. As you exhale, both hands come down to your blocks. Inhale, extend your heart, and exhale, take as deep a twist as your body is ready for. And then work your hands up to your hips. Extend your hips back, your heart forward. Inhale, rise. And now turn right foot out to the right side, bend into your right knee so you have an opening here of your knee. Use your glute to help that opening happen. 
reach your arms for your warrior two. Take a couple deep breaths as you settle in. Move back to your back knee. We often forget our back leg in warrior two. A little bend so we're not locking our knee joint. Gaze over your front fingers. Big breath. And hands come to your hips, work your right leg towards straight, turn your feet parallel, and turn your left foot out. Bend into your left knee and open it up. And again, reach your arms, take a couple big breaths in your warrior two on the second side. Hands to hips, work your left leg towards straight, Turn your feet parallel and turn your right foot out again. Right knee bends. And now this time, right elbow to your knee, or if you want to, you can always put your hand on a block on the inside of your right leg. Wherever that is for you, push down. Bend deeper into your front knee and start to turn your belly and your heart more open. Feel free to stretch top arm to the sky or over your ear for your side angle pose. Big breath. Top hand back to your hip and inhale, push into your right leg to come all the way upright. And now turn your feet parallel and turn your left foot out. Bend into your left knee. And again, elbow to your knee or fingertips to a block on the inside of your leg. Push down with your elbow or your fingertips and turn your belly and your heart more open, even as you bend deeper into your front knee and open it up. Then your choice, top arm over your ear, straight up, or keep your hand at your hip, big breath. Good, push into your left foot to bring yourself upright, working both legs towards straight, turn your feet parallel. And then as you keep a little bend to your knees, lift your chest, Exhale, fold over your legs. So now for this variation of a twist, we're going to be holding on to our legs. So reaching your right hand to the outside of your right leg. Left hand comes above it, also on the outside of your right leg. We're taking a little twist toward our right leg. You're going to pull with your left hand and push with your right, and then lift both sitting bones. Extend your chest diagonally. Exhale, turn your belly and your heart toward your right leg. As you keep lifting through your left sitting bone, pull your right ribs in and maybe twist just a little bit further. One more big breath. Inhale, back into center. And now left hand to the outside of your left leg, right hand above it. And then push with your left hand Pull with your right as you extend your heart and exhale, fold and twist. Both sitting bones lift. Draw in with your left ribs to help you twist just a little bit further. Inhale back into center with your hands and then work your hands up to your hips, bent knees, squeeze your glutes to rise all the way up and then walk your feet in. Feet inner hip distance apart and parallel. Bring your hands together at your heart. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen part way. Exhale and fold. Planting hands, walk your feet back, downward facing dog pose, and take a full breath. Then lower knees down, hips to heels, take a child's pose. Full deep inhale, long full exhale. Feel free to add a little bit of movement here through your hips, through your arms. Then inhale, gently bring yourself all the way up to your seat and come all the way down to sitting bones. Soles of feet come together, 
And from here, you have your choice. You can always set something underneath your knees for a little bit of support for your inner thigh, your groin muscles, whatever happens to be showing up for you. The other option is to take a rolled up blanket over your feet and underneath your legs for some support for your ankles. This is my favorite um, variation here for butterfly, but you can choose. Maybe you don't use any props, but wherever this is for you, hold on where you can sit the tallest. So maybe fingertips behind you, maybe holding on to your shins or peace fingers on big toes. Find a long spine, close your eyes and take a deep breath. And now right hand comes to your left foot or all the way across to your left knee if that feels good to your body or wherever you need to be in between. Left fingertips behind you, press down with your fingers and lift your ribs up high, heart up high. As you exhale, draw your low ribs in to help you twist just a little bit more. Full deep breath. Inhale, come back into center. And exhale, we'll take that twist over to the right side. And again, your left hand can hold on wherever it feels the best for you to sit tall. Lengthen, press your right fingertips down behind you. As you exhale, low ribs draw in to help you twist. Inhale, come back into center. And now exhale, you're hinging from your hips and folding as deeply as your body's ready for. And if that just makes you round through your low back a lot, then maybe stay upright. Because even this um, 90 degree angle with your body is still a forward fold. So you get to find where your spine can be the longest. Take a full breath. And now inhale, rise all the way back up. And set whatever props aside. We're gonna come all the way down onto our backs. So bring your knees together and then lower onto your back, knees into your chest, and then rock a little side to side here. Just giving your low back a little bit of massage, and back body a little chance to start to receive the floor support. And now soles of feet come back together again into your butterfly. I'm just changing the orientation here of our body with the floor. So as you hold on to your feet, if your body is saying no to that, you can always let your feet come down, that's okay. But if you're holding on to your feet, then add a little bit of movement here with your knees and your thighs so that you're pivoting a little bit on your pelvis and your sacrum. And then knees come together and your choice. You can keep your knees together like so in order to take your twist over to the right side, or you can cross your left thigh over the right, maybe even cross at the ankles here or the calves. But otherwise, take your legs over to the right side, maybe setting a block underneath them. And then if your left shoulder is lifted, then shift your shoulders over to the right a little bit. See if your left shoulder can come down. Maybe open your left arm to the left, your gaze to the left. Take a full big breath here. Then inhale back up to center, uncross your legs if you have them crossed, and then take right thigh over your left if you're crossing your legs. And again, you can always do the calf cross as well, or the toes around the calf, or just cross at the, at the thighs. As you take your legs over to the left, notice the right shoulder, maybe inch your shoulders a few inches toward the direction of your twist. Maybe turn your gaze open to the right side. 
Full big breath. Then inhale, legs back up to center, work your footprints to the ground, and then pick whatever variation of resting you would like today. So feel free to grab a pillow or bolster and set it underneath your legs. A little love for the low back. Feel free to set a pillow or bolster underneath your spine to open up more through your shoulders. Or take a butterfly. All of those are possibilities. As you start to settle in, to the ground, finding that ultimate of restorative poses. Just give yourself a moment to move through your body with your mind's eye. Give your whole body permission to release, relax, let go. Begin to take a deeper breath. Add some gentle movement into fingers and toes. When you're ready to bend your knees and roll over to your side, and then gently press into the ground to bring yourself back upright to your seat. And then bring hands to connect at heart center. And with the eyes closed, take a full deep breath and let yourself fully expand. Have a very peaceful and beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.